So on the screen we have the Widgetoid main page. You can see we've got a couple of uh, icons on here with some options. And I'm going to step through the application itself, and then I'm going to step through creating widgets and customizing widgets. So first, let's go into the advanced options. So we've got some options here. One of the commonly asked questions is how to turn the animations off in the menus of Widgetsoid. So you do that right here. Simply uncheck that. If I go back, you see there's no more animation. It just simply goes into the menu that I select. So we've got some more options here. And I'll select this one. This is all of the widgets that will come up when you long press on your home screen and you go to select the new widget. If for some reason or other you just never see yourself using any of these, then I highly recommend checking these off and clicking OK. And that'll hide them when you bring up the widget list in Android. Now before I t jump into the notification and the widget section, it'll make a lot more sense if I show you how to add widgets and how to customize widgets because these kind of go hand in hand with those. These other buttons down here, the bottom five icons, are pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not going to jump into those, but I will jump into these two after I've gone through creating widgets on your home screen. So to do that, let's go to the home screen right now. I'm just going to hit my home button. The way you add a widget is very simple. You just hold on the screen. The menu pops up. This is Android. Nothing to do with widgets yet. Select widget. And then you'll be presented with a list of widgets that are available on your phone. This is where you select your widget soy widget. You can see we've got a number of widgets here, which were in that list that I showed you with all the checkboxes. So we've got clocks, indicators. You can create a mixed uh, assortment of clocks and indicators. I'm just going to go ahead and select a quick, uh, simple one to do. This is four columns by one row. So here we have the main page of Widgetsoid's uh, widget configuration screen. You can see we've got a list of toggles we can add on here that are under the network section. And there's there's several sections down here. We see we've got network section, screen section, sound, other, and then shortcuts. These are the main sections as far as toggles you can select. Toggles or notification uh, icons. So I'm just going to select a few really quickly. But some of these have little uh, toolbar icon next to them. If you select that, it gives you some additional settings for that toggle. And you'll see several of these have uh, those little icons next to them. So that just means there's more options than what the other ones have. Select this one. And I don't want to see the label on that one, so I'll uncheck that. And lastly, I'm going to select an actual application to put on there. So right now this is loading up all the applications that are on my phone. And then I can select any one of these to put into my widget. So I'm going to throw an application onto this widget, and this is how you do that. Now, if I scroll over, we've got some theme settings. This will allow us to change the appearance of the widget itself. Icon always highlight if the option you selected is turned off, the icon will kind of dim out. Here you can have it show the labels or not. Um, you can hide the icons to where it's only labels. And you can see 
if I do want to show labels, that Bluetooth one kind of falls off the edge there. So what I can do is if I select that, I can change the label itself. And there you go, the icon's changed. Another thing you can do is you can move icons around. So you could change the order of your toggles. And then if I select this, you can actually change the icon. So I'm just going to hit back. You could change the color of the label itself, the background you can change. I'm going to go ahead and make this one white. And then you can also change the color of the indicator on the bottom. We've got some presets in this list here, as well as a custom color uh, color wheel. So you can create your own color if you want to. One of the last things I'm going to change is I don't like how this uh, gallery icon is colored and it just kind of sticks out. So And then I'll select color filter, which you can see the gallery icon has become monochrome. So it matches our theme a little better. I'll go to advanced. These are some options for the widget itself. Uh, modifiable, for example, if I select that, we get this little gear in the corner. That's a nice little shortcut to add because you don't have to open Widget Soid up to edit your widget. You simply select that little gear and it'll let you edit the widget directly from your home screen without having to jump into Widget Soid first. Down here, notification, if I select that, it will show up up here with that widget as well. One thing to keep in mind with the Widgetsoid Invisible option is that this is only available on new widgets due to a limitation in the Android API. So if you create a widget and you do not check this option, when you go back to edit the widget later, this option will no longer be available. If you want to make the widget invisible after you've created it, you'll have to save the profile and then create a new widget and reload that profile. So just something to keep in mind. And then if I select Widget Invisible, it will not show up on my home screen. It'll only be in the notification tray. And then you can give the widget a name. So finally, go to Profiles. These are profiles that I've created for other widgets that I use or have used. Uh, this is a great option if you think this is a widget you're going to come back to again and again and if for whatever reason you delete it but then you want to add it again, you don't have to recreate it, you can just load it again. So I'm going to save current profile. I'll call this test which is the name that I gave the widget. So I'll just hit OK. You can see it gave it test underscore two because I already have one called test down here. So then I hit apply. And there we go, the widget has been added onto my home screen. So again, that little uh, gear in the corner, if I select that, it takes me back into widget so I can edit this without having to open widget soid. So it's really convenient. Um, I like putting that on my widgets, but as you can see on this large widget I created on top, I neglected to put that option on there. So to modify that, again, you just open up widget soid, select that. And now I'm gonna go into the widgets um, button over here. So I select widgets. Here we have a list of all the widgets that I've made. This is one that I did earlier and I didn't add anything to it, so I select that. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And then this airplane one is the one that I wanted to modify. So I select it and select the pencil icon. And now I'm taken into the modification screen so I can add toggles to it, change the, the color, whatever I feel like doing. 
So this is how you modify widgets if you don't want to put that little um, modifiable button onto the widget. So again, if I hit apply it'll leave it as B or if I want to load another profile instead of that one, load this one, yes, close that out. And this is a another widget that I'd made before. So if I hit apply it's going to change that widget on my home screen into this widget right here. I don't want to do that but that's how you can see how it handles profiles. Last we see the notification option which I talked about. Uh, the options down here, some of the, again, one of the more common questions that I've seen as, as well as the developer seen is how to keep the widget just up here and not have it pop up every time you select something. That's this option right here. Right now I have it unchecked, so as you saw when I selected widget soid, it just took me into widget soid. If you have this checked, it'll pop up that widget and then you'll have to select it again, so notification on top if you do not have that checked off as you start getting emails and text messages and just notifications from Android it'll start pushing this down so that's not something that I like one of the things I want to mention here is if the notification on top box is unchecked when you check it off uh, one of two things will happen you'll either get the following screen which I'm going to show you now this is a screenshot from my phone when I check off that option it brings this up. My phone's running Gingerbread um, Android version 2.3.5. So on my version, you get this screen. When this comes up, you just hit cancel and it'll go ahead and keep the notification, uh, the widget on top of your notification tray. If you're running a different version of Android, say Android Ice Cream Sandwich, then you'll get this screen. On this screen, simply enable the Widget Soy Notification Service. And that will basically do the same thing as hitting cancel on another version of Android which is it will keep the widget on top of your notification tray. So just an extra step that I wanted to mention in case you run into that and you're not sure what to do. So I, I always make sure that I have that checked off. You could set options in here for the appearance of your widget. and then again down here all these customizations this is where you would make all those adjustments so for example if I do color filter it filters all the colors giving them that monochrome look so that's the notification option in Widgetsoid I hope this tutorial has been useful and I hope you enjoy using Widgetsoid to customize your Android home screen